You're gonna be all set. I'm, I'm, I'm set. I'm ready. I'm terrified. I'm not ready. That means you're going upside down, right? Yes. I'm gonna go upside down. <laughs> U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where in just a few days, Super Bowl 52 is gonna go down right here on this grass where I'm standing. But in the meantime, I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of this city and show you the food, the people, the parties, the music, and everything that Minneapolis has to offer. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so crazy. So please, if you'll come with me, let's do this. ride a snowmobile for the first time ever. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're going so fast. Oh man. Yeah, that's fun out there. <laughs> have you uh, have you rode a snowmobile before? I've never I've never been on a snowmobile in my life. See, I'm a, I'm a snowboarder. Like I grew up in Colorado. Like my brother like is competitive snowboarder. He was like sponsored for a little bit. And he yeah. does backflips and I'm like, "What?" But he's on a snowboard. Like you're on this. A lot of it, just like gymnasts, you go into a foam pit. Essentially, it's a shoebox full of eight inch foam cubes, and we'll jump into that on the sled. So when you're doing your backflips, if for some reason it goes wrong, you land upside down, you're landing in foam, and you're not landing on the ground. So you're in town for Super Bowl? Yeah. Yeah? Pretty yeah. excited? Oh my god, I'm so excited. So what kind of trick are you doing? Like, what's happening? Tell me about that. Yeah, so we'll be doing a, a over 100 foot long backflip for the Super Bowl Live. And we're really super excited about it. You know, it's like, it's a big jump, big jump, pretty, pretty sketchy, but at the same time, you know, we've been practicing, we feel pretty good about it. So really excited to do it this year. What's the craziest thing that you've ever seen? Or... Well, the double backflip uh, was practicing in the foam pit. That's when I broke my leg. Yeah. And uh, a good friend of mine, he was practicing front flips and he broke his neck. And I mean, it's it's dangerous stuff once you get, yeah. you know, if things no don't joke. go right. So you always got to have like kind of a, a backup plan. And other than that, I mean, they're pretty, uh, pretty simple to ride. Simple. <laughs> Before long, I figure by the end of the day, we should be flipping, right? They're simple. <laughs> No big deal. No big Just deal. Drive this thing casual. <laughs> you can do it. Okay. Well, let's let's get suited. Let's try it out. Even the hat part, I'm just like, how do I get in this? Am I yeah, doing this you're like, just pull the pull those out like that. There you go. Yeah, let me get this open for you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ah, hello. Just grab like a big handful and then just let off the throttle. Okay. Okay, and it'll it'll show you how much power it has. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be back flipping by the end of the day. Pro. Oh my god, <laughs> that was so much fun! What the heck, man? You do that every day of your life? Oh my god, that was the best thing ever. That was yeah. so much fun. It is tons of fun. I like, I've been doing it since I was a little kid and fell in love with it and haven't stopped since. Ready to eat a burger? 
I'm more than ready. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Me too. I saved my appetite for this moment. Famous for the Juicy Lucy here, so it's got to be good. I had no idea, yeah. and I love burgers. I'm a huge burger fan. How, how do you not like burgers? It's I mean, one of my favorite burgers and fries is like, um, I feel like yeah, yeah. it's like brushing your teeth in the morning. Yeah. So you just gotta have it. Gotta have it. How could you go through life without having a cheeseburger? What is wrong? And then this is like the ultimate cheeseburger. So this is perfect for me. What's your favorite part about living in Minnesota? Um, I would definitely say the people here. People um, hear a lot yeah. of good things. I mean, like, uh, these past, you know, obviously we, we uh, didn't have, we didn't end the season how we wanted to, uh, yeah, but good. that happens, I mean, but um, how the people treated me, and um, I couldn't ask for a better place to play, yeah. you know, because. Good family. Hey, yeah, they, Community you know, is amazing. They're, they're just so supportive. Yeah, and, uh, you feel it when you land here. Absolutely. You have a brother in, in the do. NFL. He's, he's playing mm -hmm. in the Super Bowl. He's playing the Super Bowl. Are they you beat us. so proud? You must be just like, that's I mean, amazing and incredible. I'm super excited for him. I mean, it's, so it's, a, it's an opportunity that I would want to have. You know, obviously yeah, we course. lost, but um, he's a baller. He's a baller, man. He deserves this. Yeah. Nobody, you know, nobody knows that he deserves it more than oh, I do. More than so I do. So sweet. it's like, I'm, I'm excited for him in that sense. Thank you. Thank you so much. Questions about the menu? I think I'm a star. I'm a basic guy. I'm basic not a big guy. peanut butter fan. I don't really like a lot of. <laughs> I like I like to get cut and dry. I like no no. I like to get right to it. Yeah. Awesome. Can I do extra pickles? You sure I can. I love pickles, especially with peanut butter. All right, you guys. I'll get that going. All right. All right cool. Two waters. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's your diet like? during the season? What do you eat? How do you work out? So, you know, I definitely enjoy a burger, you know, a pizza every yeah. once in a while. I'm not, like, too too crazy on my diet, yeah. but I definitely make sure, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm eating, for the most part, pretty healthy during the week, and, yeah. uh, you know, breakfast and lunch, and, and just getting my carbs in before practice, getting yeah. my, you know, veggies in, things like that. Yeah. Uh, vegetables are really important. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, veggies. Eat vegetables, Got kids. To. Veggies. Veggies. And make it strong. Ooh. Place the Plain. stuff that's Plain. in for it. Oh, and here so is good. your <gasps> oh my God. jelly one. Don't you guys know much about the 5-8? I don't know. Tell us more about it. I know yes, we would like to know everything that there is to point, know. Right? Speakeasy. So we're going to be 90 this year. And so we were speakeasy. So right where you guys are sitting, there was a garage underneath. And they got hooch in there illegally. And then we just started serving burgers out of here instead of doing things illegal. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. This it makes is, a way better story though. Yeah. Breakers. It's awesome. Just walking around, you know, seeing how the vibe is and stuff like that, kind of takes you back a little bit, gives yeah. you that nostalgia feeling, yeah. especially when you're eating the burger. And then you get the little history <laughs> lesson behind it. That's what it's all about, yeah. So go ahead, give those all a try, you Thank guys. You. Appreciate it. Let me take a bite. Every single one. Well, there's no proper way to eat a burger, like oh, to be I, fancy and stuff. So just, just, just dig in. I judge people if they don't <laughs> eat it with their hands. The moment somebody whips out silverware and starts cutting it, I'm like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, there's definitely. I don't understand you. Not gonna be much conversation right now. Mm. After, I take another bite. Minnesota tastes great. <laughs> she ain't lying. This is one of the best burgers I think I've ever had in my entire life. My entire life. I saw that you have a dog. I do. Man, I'm so happy I got her. I mean, I love her They're so the much. Best. Look, it's making me look how it's making me smile right now. But uh, talk, actually, I talked to Basil. <laughs> I talked to Basil just like I'm talking to you right now. And like, I'm just, it's just so. conversation. Oh yeah, you know. you're gonna go run she's at gonna, me and just walk away. One day away, she's gonna like, start talking to me back, but until then. Pouring rain, Absolutely. first of all, yeah. and it's like, how do you? How is he still dancing? His dancers <laughs> are still dancing. No one's yep. falling. He's not struck by lightning, and you're just like, oh my god. So, tell me about this place. Tell me about Paisley Park. What it is. What it means. Where we are. Well, you know, Prince always envisioned having a space in which he could create anything and everything under one roof. And so that's what he ended up getting with Paisley. So do you know why it's called Paisley Park? I know that sounds like a crazy, good well, little, like. You know, there are probably a number of reasons why. There's why did he call it that? Debating theories, but it's believed it has to do with the fact that Paisleys can take on a lot of different shapes and colors. Yeah. And he actually felt it would work well as a metaphor for this multi-purpose facility that oh. he had created. Oh, wow. So the term park with Paisley Park really just refers to his own personal playground. Yeah. And that's definitely what he had here. what you see when you first walk in here is 
so, Super Bowl outfit. Like, exactly this is right. It. So this is uh, obviously an area that's dedicated to Prince's 2007 Super Bowl halftime show. So you work in fashion. Yeah. You might particularly take interest in that piece oh, right I'm there. So I'm so into uh, it. I that love was, that. Uh, that was what he wore during the show. And this is one of the guitars he played as well. I had chills. It's just insane that he's such an incredible performer and has a great stage presence. I know I'm biased, but for me, it's definitely the gold standard for halftime entertainment. Oh, one of the best of all time. But one of the things that made it so interesting was the moment Prince was able to create by the time he gets around to closing this show. Yeah. He's playing his own masterpiece, Purple Rain. And as you can see, and might remember if you've seen it before, uh, it's actually raining. Yeah. So you really can't dial it up any better than that. So the people of Minneapolis must really love Prince because they really felt connected to him. Like he's from here, he came back here, he Absolutely. does so much here. He's really rooted in the community. That's really special for them, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, he was one of us. You know, yeah. He was born in Minneapolis. He developed his interest in music and the wow. local music scene here. And I think in a lot of ways really was that artistic thread that held the musical community together. So is there anything that you can tell me about him as a person, like his personality? You speak with the folks that were close to him, I think one of the things that they would always tell you is that he had an amazing sense of humor. Uh, but he was also a sports fan, big basketball fan. This room actually at one point in time had a basketball hoop in here and this was his court. Um, yeah, I actually read that he was really good at basketball. He was on a basketball yeah. team when he was in school, no? Absolutely right, yeah. He played basketball. That's so cool. Uh, he was an athletic guy. Yeah. You know, he had an interest in sports. Yeah. Uh, football was the same. He would go to Vikings games here every now and again. And part of what made Paisley so interesting is Prince was a very enigmatic artist. He really championed the unpredictable, uh, liked to keep people guessing. So it was interesting, every now and again, there would be folks who maybe were coming through town on tours of their own who would show up and either hang out or end up jamming out with Prince on stage. How many people have performed here? Are there, is it only Prince and now just in Timberlake or have there been other right. celebrities who have come here and performed here? You know, there's, there's been a, a nice sort of collection of folks yeah, who've, of who've come here to sort of pay their respects, learn a little more. So the <laughs> likes of Madonna, uh, Kendrick right. Lamar. Wow. The proximity, the accessibility that we had as folks who lived here yeah. in the Twin Cities to his kind of genius was something you wouldn't find anywhere else. Well, to see this guy two or three feet in front of you, I mean, it was a humbling experience and inspiring. And I think that's one of the main things Prince was able to do for people around the world. And so now when folks come through here on tours, we have an obligation to tell his story in a way that also inspires them today. It's Super Bowl 52, baby! Woo! Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having, a, I'm having the right. best time. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Nordic waffles. These are the sweet ones. Yeah. Can I do this one? Absolutely. Here's your vanilla Ooh. berry. Thank you. You're welcome. You're oh, that's welcome. nice and warm. Yeah. Now that is amazing. I'm gonna go be a human snow globe really quickly. <laughs> Just casually hanging out yeah. with the SWAT team. <laughs> it's fine. Who do you guys think is gonna win the Super Bowl? Patriots all the way. The Patriots. <laughs> what about you? I'm still better the Vikings aren't there. <laughs> Just on the set here, the NFL Network. This is hello. Steve Smith. Hi. Hey, Hi, how are you? Global wide receiver. Wow, Listen, hello. We're going to incorporate Taylor into the next hit, if that's OK. <laughs> it's her world. <laughs> <laughs> it is my world. <laughs> it's not my world. Taylor, welcome to Super Bowl 52. How's Thank your experience you. going? It's been amazing. It's so much fun. The Super Bowl itself may be three hours long, but the Super Bowl event is like a solid week long. Absolutely. So Great I'm, I'm here and I'm in it and I'm living it and I'm experiencing it and it's been a blast and just so much fun. So I'm so excited that they brought me out here to do this. Do us a favor, say Cole back to you. Cole, back to you. Cole, you owe me. I had a Victoria's Secret supermodel just tossed to you. Up. You going in next? Good talk. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to the next guy. Holy! Sh 
So this right here, this is our Super Bowl 50 <gasps> ring. I knew you was a huge Bronco fan. I wanted to show you it up close and personal. Oh my God! But yeah, my I want dad, this. I'm holding it! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Super Bowl ring, Super Bowl champion now, Taylor Hill. <laughs>
Philadelphia is the greatest sandwich city in America. I agree. It Hands has down. it has incredible, incredible uh, ethnic roots, especially in the Italian community. New England, land of the lobster roll, land of the clam shack, land of the steam pots. Uh, Food-wise, fantastic. Yeah. But that's more of a summertime food thing. I just would like it to be a close, good game because when the Super Bowl is close, it's thrilling. Yeah. Now, really? if the Eagles are ahead going into the fourth quarter, they better be ahead by 25 or 30 points because as we learned last year, your buddy, TB12, it, you know, there's no, you know, hold my beer, let's, let's score five touchdowns. So I'm here with Rob and we are in the... Northrip Auditorium at the University of Minnesota. Boom! What should I expect during Super Bowl week, during the actual event of the Super Bowl in the stadium? What am I looking for? Here's What's the thing. Happening? After my many years of going to Super Bowls, what I found to be true is getting to the Super Bowl in a reasonable amount of health <laughs> is really essential because there's so many good, fun things happening <laughs> the week leading up, right? So and then come Sunday, you got nothing left in the tank and you <laughs> sit in your seat like this, just staring at the game. So my advice is pace yourself. Pace yourself. Pace yourself, hydrate, drink a lot of wow. water. Mm. We're in a cold environment. And when you're in cold environment, people don't hydrate enough. This is a, a very, most people go down with heat stroke and heat exhaustion in cold weather. Fact or fiction, fact. Is there anyone you're really excited to see or meet or talk to? I've been pretty lucky. I've actually, uh, I've got to meet a bunch of the guys I wanted to meet. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm sure there's always going to be somebody uh, there. You know, I've. Seen Jim Brown. Yeah. He was a famous running back for the Cleveland Browns okay, back cool. in the day. But I've never met him. So, so you uh, want to meet him? I'd like to meet him. Oh, yeah, so we'll let him know. Him. Hey, he would really like to meet you. So if you see him around, come say hi. I mean, I got a few He's zingers a about cool Cleveland guy. that he might not like. Oh. But I mean, maybe we should maybe we should hold off on those. Sometimes you gotta maybe, you could, maybe you could tell them to me. Is that okay? Or oh, no, 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 you don't no, want to tell No, I don't. You got to watch. Saturday I'll watch. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I tried. I tried to get you guys a. You're really good at this. Thank you. Okay, so what do I wear? What is? What are the players wearing? What are you wearing? What's the dress code? What's the vibe? It's, I, I don't want to say it's black tie formal. It's not. It's, uh, I would say it's uh, business chic. Business is that, chic? Is that a thing? That's a good, I like that. Is that, that word? Yeah. Yeah, because the guys will be in suits. In suits. Right, but they're, but they're, a lot of the football players are like in hip suits. Uh, like they can pull off cool stuff. Cool I have a stuff. feeling whatever you put on is gonna be you're gonna be fine. I'll be fine. Right, you'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it, but I just want to yeah. make sure I ask because yeah. that's my job. You know, I gotta yeah. be on top of and it. And what's the, what's the rule? The always rule is uh, it's always better to overdress than to underdress. Yeah, right? that's the so rule. So put on a nice dress. Yeah. I think a lot of the ladies will be wearing dresses. I'll be in a suit. Okay. That's about that's about you're as gonna, good. You're it's dress business up, chic. I think I just created it. If it's not already out there. Oh yeah, I have I have jokes. Okay, that good. I, now this is good because here's I why. Come here's why. Okay. I am right now. St I'm still working on the monologue and trying to figure out things to, to joke around. And so, if Tender. you if you got some jokes, I'm I all would ears. Like, they're not. I feel like they're not too um, aggressive. You, did you write little, them all down in a? They're, they're all look written at this. down. Okay. You know, I have a few. I have a few start. You could tell Tom Brady turned 40 this year because he posted a way too long video on Facebook about his wife and kids. That's, yes, that's <laughs> accurate, very true. Okay, cool. Okay, I've had an incredible week here. I've met so many extraordinarily kind and polite people from Minnesota and some Eagles fans. Come on, that's the Ooh, stuff right yeah. there, yes. Because we all know the Eagles fans are a little crazy, a little rowdy, right? A little they're, crazy. Uh, they're a lot crazy. Nice. They're a lot yes. crazy. Yeah, they punch <laughs> horses in Philadelphia. <laughs> They punch anything, actually. Oh, come on now. Those so, are good. That's good, right? You're totally in the wheelhouse. Okay, you you know, are... not everyone can be a comedian. Not everyone's funny, but you know, I just thought I would throw something out there. I appreciate not it. Too, you know, I and you're in the balance. wheelhouse of actually the stuff I'm thinking about. Oh, really? So, yes. So oh, very yeah. good. Okay, okay, okay. Give well me some done. ideas. Thank you. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know I'm living the life. Anderson busting it in for the Denver touchdown. So tell me a little bit about what you think about the fan base of being oh, on the Denver Broncos is, and that whole thing. Because you know you have a, the whole, my whole fan base and all of my people watching this right now. So growing up in the Bay Area, mm -hmm. you know, um, going to a lot of Oakland Raider games when I was young, rowdy, yeah. 
pants painted, you got the dark Vader masses, and then you go to Colorado, you get the same excited, crazy fans, yes. but just not as a uh, as rowdy you as know, uh, as like fist fight. Yeah, none, none of those things. Yeah, yeah. More, we're more, very prideful. More we love you we love than, than do we hate you. So I also want to, of course, ask you, like, what's it like working with a quarterback like Peyton Manning? Because you know he, in my opinion, like saved. The Broncos, I mean, like, same you, difference, you, yeah. like, what's it like? Um, 18 is, is, a, is a unique character and, and really amazing. Um, everything about him on and off the field that yeah. people think of him is, is all true when it comes to football and how he handles himself, how he handles his family and his twins. So, um, you know, learning from him was the best experience that I could have gotten. You've been to the Super Bowl. And I, of course, watched it and was like, <laughs> screaming. One of my friends was uh, is from North Carolina and was, you know, she's watched the whole thing. She's like, oh, you want to watch Super Bowl together? Da, da, da. I'm like, if we want to continue to be friends, we cannot watch the Super Bowl together. Yeah. Well, you already know it's back in the Bay Area, back in my hometown. So yes. that, that always so you're made at it. Home, yeah, it's just but comfortable. Playing the Broncos, but but so. playing, playing in the Super Bowl was a really, really amazing experience. Yeah. Um, not every player gets that opportunity. And then Absolutely. when you actually win it, um, that, it, 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 cha it literally changes your life. So I want to hear about Super Bowl preparation from someone who's been in it, been in the game, gone through it. What's your headspace like? What's it like the night before? I do the Victoria's Secret fashion show. The all night right. before, I cannot sleep. Really? I am up all night long. I'm shaking. I'm nervous. I get the jitters, man. I am not calm. I am not collected. Shake, I, am, I am shaking and like, is, oh my god. We scream. We stand in a circle before the show starts. We hold hands with like Adriana Lima, and we're like, <laughs> ah! we just like scream. She's like, who wants to scream? And I'm like, I do. <laughs> well. <laughs> The thing is, with, uh, with me, is preparation is huge. You know, playing with a guy like Peyton Manning, that's something that he instilled in us. And um, with that preparation, if you're fully prepared, then you're ready for every situation that can possibly come up. Well, tell me a little bit about the, your charity. Our charity is uh, mine, Dreams Never Die Foundation. It's something me and my mom and my grandma came up with. And, I mean, our whole goal is with our, with our kids, I was an inner city kid myself, and showing inner city youth um, the power of ed education and then also the power of you know, you don't have to be the next, you know, athlete or big time, you know, rapper, entertainer Absolutely. to be successful in life. Just do it, just have get a great education, mm -hmm. do what you need to do, find what you're passionate about. I, I wanna end with this. She got 9.8 million followers, right? I don't wanna make nobody upset, no dads, no boyfriends, but I need to know how I can get those 9.8. I slid in your DMs, right? I slid in your DMs and actually I said, you got 9.8 and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. And I'm super, super excited. And I just want to find a way to get your 9.8. Holy shit. So this right here, this is our Super Bowl 50 ring. I knew you was a huge Bronco fan. I wanted to show you it up close and personal. Oh my God. But yeah, I want to- I'm holding it. <laughs> but yeah, Super Bowl ring, Super Bowl champion, now Taylor <laughs> Oh my god, thank you so much. Anytime, anytime. This is so cool. I'm sure I don't even know what to say. I'm like, I don't want to like cry because I just, <laughs> you know, I did all of this. So I can't. Oh my god, this is so cool. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So are you guys so excited to be here and be a part of this? Yeah, they're usually all, they're usually always pretty fun. We did it last year, and it was like pretty epic. Yeah. Yeah. It's and like every, for that too, I think. Yeah, I think we just yeah. They all kind of mixed together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's always been super fun, and like people are just here to have a good time. So. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah that's so much fun. <laughs> so we're here at the Super Bowl. If you guys, it's obviously most likely a dream to do a halftime performance at the Super Bowl. If you did this, what would your performance look like in your heads how, how would it be oh man what a question is that a big question yeah I don't know like doing the Super Bowl like that's like the the like biggest honor you can receive is being offered to do the Super Bowl so I think that's why they keep giving it to the same people over and over because <laughs> they just do it so just so like well. a every year every I'm rooting percent. for you guys you guys yeah. are some of my favorite one of my favorites like I, I love all of your you. songs Thank like you. they're Hope always so good hopefully someday I, I listen to them yeah. when I work out like on repeat all the time yeah. so you guys yeah. NFL like let's I'm go. a chain filter let's do it what's let's funny when you play it. like a Super Bowl show like this like 
a lot of people get confused and I get messages from friends all the time like, dude, you're playing a halftime show? I was yeah. like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not, you know. It's just a performance. Yeah, but yeah. it's still really cool. And oh, you yeah, guys for sure. totally, you'll get that, you'll do that for yeah. sure. I know Justin's gonna hold down this year. He's got it. Yeah. Is he's it JT? The... Yeah, it's JT. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, he always crushes. Yeah. Like, he's a reliable choice, he's... you know? He's solid. He's yeah. a great performer and everything yeah, too. He's gonna smash yeah. it. Who would be your ideal person to do a collaboration with? If you could do uh, Sure. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. You know he's going to Coachella. What? Yeah, what do you mean? because you know Eminem's there. Oh, you think oh, so? I, I Wait, that's a good call. This, or you know? That's a good call. No, 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 it's not for real. It's Did a Taylor Eminem? fact that okay. you know. <laughs> I can't you know he's gonna be. Yeah. I know yeah. in my soul well, like he's gonna NWA. be there. When I no, I'm obviously kind of assumed NWA assuming and hoping and praying because Eminem's there that yeah. you guys know he's gonna be there, right? But tell me a little bit about how you guys met. Uh, I have an interesting story. Tinder. <laughs> Tinder. Tinder. Yeah. yeah. No. It's, a, it's an app. They yeah. have the friend setting on it, so yeah. it's not crazy. Oh, so yeah, okay. looking for friends. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Only. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He was respectful. And we kind of looked the same, like we could be brothers, and we thought that would be a good thing for starting a band. Yeah. And it I'm like older out. now, and he's younger, and you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, kind of just like, oh great, like it's like me, but younger still. Yeah. So yeah. Like, he's like, that's that. what I have to look forward to. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And I was like, a new. <laughs> So yeah, and now we're six years later. Going <laughs> strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. So what are you guys looking forward to this week? Or what else do you guys have planned? <laughs> are you gonna watch the good game? Good question. Go to the game. We have to go to London on Sunday. I know, but we're gonna land before the game so we can so still watch the try game. And watch yeah. it. Somewhere, I don't know where. Yeah, I don't know. And it's not gonna be like one in the morning or something, but Wow. Yeah. But you should still try and watch definitely, it. Definitely, definitely. I mean you did this, so you gotta try. You're yeah, a Patriots right? fan. I know. Come on. I gave we, we got did an, this event last year and I gave like the tickets that they gave us to my aunt and uncle from and they're from Boston, so they freaked out. <sighs> Yeah, who would have known? He also oh. threw a Super Bowl party, didn't have cable. Okay, the, okay. And it is. <laughs> I thought you could just... Wi-Fi went out, so we ended up 40 people and watching it on a little cell phone. No, stop! Yeah, I thought you could just stream it and it'd be easy. You know? <laughs> no. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. We were no. so pissed off. Yeah. Oh like, I don't understand. It was a good party. Yeah. Time Warner. No. Everything else at the party was great. The food was good. The vibes <laughs> were good. Except for the fact that you were in the Super Bowl, Bowl party and yeah, you couldn't yeah. watch yeah. the Super Bowl. But, you know, who really watches that anyway? Yeah. This is great. <laughs> this no, is sorry. great. You can tell you guys have been friends for a long time. I can definitely get that vibe. Thank you so much for meeting me, you guys. It was so good to see you. I here. really appreciate it. This was yeah. so much fun. It was so much fun talking Hell to yeah. you. Hell yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you, you guys yeah. too. That's it? What is this? You put this on? How does this work? What the heck? What is this thing? Are these pants? Do I have to put this? Do I have to wear this? Okay. There we go. Is this how it goes? Oh. <laughs> Maybe someone can help me with these in a minute. <laughs>
How did or, where did it come that, from? How did that come into fruition? I wish I could. Just the overall stature of this being. How's it different being with the Super Bowl being here? Well, all the roads to get to the rink are blocked, so it's, that makes it tougher. <laughs> Last night, Looking I was... like a true local, all the roads are blocked. Oh. <laughs> God, this is such an inconvenience. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> now you gotta shoot it in the net. Awesome. Guys, so this is like a whole other thing. Just There it is. Oh, we'll no, get there. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh my God, come on, Taylor, you can do this. You got it. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> What's that Please from, do. the video game? Or? Me. I think it was from like Wayne Gretzky, it. like on Nintendo. Yeah. When totally. you're little, yeah. that's what that's what they do yeah. after you score. They all they all go like this. <laughs> What's all this? So we got goalie gear. I think you're gonna try on if you'd be oh. up for it. Okay. <laughs> A little different helmet. Oh. Might have to, hopefully that doesn't smell too bad. What do we do first? How do we even put? Do you even know how to put these? on? Dude, I, don't, I, I honestly don't. They don't even know how to put these on. Sorry, I'm, I'm making it worse. They better put this in fast forward. Oh no. I hope you're ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> there it is. Here, I can hit a pad I can't here. even, I can barely like maneuver. Do <laughs> <laughs> you feel it? No. Here, let's see. <laughs> I can't see anything. Well, that was fun. A little sweaty? I don't know how they do anything, see anything, breathe. That's why you never play goalie. One more thing for you. I think you're gonna like it too. Stop. Yeah. No. The Zamboni. is insane. You can't even imagine. There's a roller coaster, there's two Victoria's Secrets. You have to come and see it. Ooh. We're doing an old time uh, photos, green screen, so the old time football sweaters with the uh, uh, leather helmets. So you can, okay. You can transform me into a leather head if you want to do that. Right. Straight in. Oh, okay. so it's backwards. Yep, just like that. Mm. Perfect. Smells pretty good considering that it's old, you know. Good. Okay, so we'll do a couple different ones. Okay. Um, you got to get your game face on. You yes. Have a good game face. Okay. Two. Yes. Good. Yes. Oh no! Oh, no. Bubble. Oh, you, you have it. Of oh, course, I will. Yes. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you. So much. I'm here at Radio Row today, and I'm a little bit nervous to see who I'm going to talk to. So, do you guys have favorite music, favorite band, anybody here that you're excited to see? I hear Migos is here. Migos? Migos, yes. uh, Drake. Drake. You know, I actually saw Justin Timberlake over Christmas. Him performing is amazing. I'm going to see Zach Brown Band. Okay. I really like Zach Brown Band. I've okay. seen him once before. How are you feeling? I'm feeling 
Good. Yeah? Feeling you excited good. for your team? I'm very excited. The catch, as they call it. How has your life changed from before and after that moment? Let's just say anytime you win a Super Bowl, it just gets a little crazier and crazier. Uh, each There's time. people shouting his name right now. Julian! Julian! Okay, so I know you get paid to drive cars really, really, really fast, but if you had to pick a car to drive every day, what car would you pick? Yeah, I'm kind of a Chevy Suburban guy. Uh, what helmet would you say is cooler? The football helmet or the NASCAR helmet? No, no comparison. NASCAR. The NASCAR, NASCAR, NASCAR helmet. helmet. You're yeah. biased. That's okay. Which brother would you want to play with the most? I think it'd be cool to play with JJ. Um, I think it'd be really cool to have all three of us in the same team. That would be amazing. Um, so does your mom cheer for all of you? How does that work? Yeah, she actually has a jersey that has three different numbers on it. So, have you met Tom Brady? He's low key, yeah. He's yeah. not someone that would overwhelm you if you meet him. He's no. just yeah. a down to earth guy. What would your guys' touchdown celebration look like? That's a great question. Our touchdown just celebration? Involve, it would involve kissing. What does your touchdown celebration look like? Am I allowed to ask you that? Yeah, I got yeah, mine. I'm trying to learn how to get like that model. Make yeah. You got a Ooh, style? Yeah, it's like a. I need mine to be like an annoying one, though. <laughs> Hey, Patrick, come, come join us, man. Wow. I wish you man. I don't have time right oh. now. Oh, oh yeah. Star, handle it. Star, right here. Star, yeah. Star, yeah. Star, yeah. Star right here. Uh, yeah. Starting quarterback. What's Patrick Mahomes right there? Hi. How you doing? Hey. See that? We ain't dinner together now. Then we become a star. You can't fight together. Everyone's asking football related questions. Yeah. Who do you root for? Who do you root against? Um, I'm a Bills fan. Everyone's asking that. Who are you rooting for? 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 Who are you rooting uh, I mean, the, the Super Bowl period was not the game. I have a commercial in the game. Oh. I'm in fashion. I've been asking everybody this week. What, what's their style? What do they like? What's your thing? What's my you do style? Joe's jeans. Joe's I jeans. I do Joe's style. jeans. Do we? Do you? We both Whoa. do Joe's, Joe's jeans. jeans. Look at you. Look uh, you at know, this. We're, we're just Joe'd out. Who do you think is the most fashionable patriot? Belichick. Okay. Uh, Belichick okay. is the most fashionable. Okay. Come that's on. your. That's How can you go wrong dressing like this? Sure. Oh no. This is full Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. There's like 12, 12 of us. Where do we go? That's a dead end. This way. Just follow me. I would like to follow someone besides myself. I'm directionally challenged. I think we're going towards the right direction now. Wait, where'd you go? Julian? Oh, hi. <laughs> this way. I think we won. <gasps> yes! We did it! Wait, are we? No, we are we out? No, are we we're out? not out. Where do we go now? I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys know where to, how to, how to get us out of here? Did we do it? This is the beginning. <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks like we're way off. I can't do this. <laughs> okay, follow me now. We tried it your way, and we didn't do it my way. We are completely out of our mind lost. I don't know where I am. Emergency exit only. We might be taking that. I think we're getting somewhere here. This is new. This is new. We did it. We did it? We did we it. We did it. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Let's go. It was supposed to be three minutes. We were in there for 15. She said she wasn't good at directions, so I, I naturally said, like, okay, I'm good. I, I got, got this. this. And then. We didn't have it. We didn't we have did it. We did not have it. We made it. We, made we it. did it. We made it. Super Bowl is all about the food. Am I right? Should I get a steak? I have to get a steak if I'm here, right? Hello. Hi there. Hi. I'm Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I'm Dave. Hi. Hi, Dave. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Manny. Thank you. I'm really excited. Did you bring your appetite with you? I did. Oh, very nice. I did. Very nice. <sighs> oh, the bacon candy. Look at that. It's Big Brother is our bacon appetizer that's on the dinner menu, and it comes out just uh, a couple of uh, 10 to 12 ounce pieces of bacon. We're also gonna bring out our brownie. Oh. Yeah, like that, right? I you love brownies. Sweet. Oh. Oh my God, it's like one of my favorites. 
This is, on, I guess, to make mom happy. This is on the lighter side, our tuna tartare. Oh, okay. This looks good. And I think, you know, this is one of our lunch items, so. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's the bacon? Right. That's the appetizer. Right. Look at the hash that browns. That is loaded is that hash crazy? browns. That is loaded. And then there's the salad. We we're going to ignore that. Take that back. You don't need that We one. don't need that. <laughs> you stick a knife in it. Thanks, Jeff. Now Let's that, that, we should just get cut straight to dessert, shouldn't we? It's it's like a uh, like a marathon, right? It's one step at a time. Mm. That's it. No oh god. <clears throat> this is so good. I'm gonna eat all this food really quick. Thank you guys so much for watching this segment. I know I'm just making you so jealous. See you later. Just gonna go have lunch. No big deal. Nice to meet nice you. To meet I'm you Taylor. Hi, I know. I know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> I like that outfit to Preston, huh? Yes, I was hoping you would. Yeah. <laughs>《Minneapolis so far. I actually just got here. Oh, you did? And uh, the moment I landed, it was like the weather bit me. It was like it bit me. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, it, it's definitely freezing out here. It is you know, freezing. It's, it's everything that everyone is saying it is. So I went to the Super Bowl in 2010 and I lost. And yes. it was in Dallas. And it was cold like this. But the difference is, is that city wasn't prepared for snow or anything. So I saw one snowflake fall and the whole city shut down because <laughs> I was from the it's a joke, but I went out to San Francisco. It was just awesome, you know. The weather was beautiful. Um, you know, Peyton Manning's, you know, last game. And to be able to go out and win that game and go out, you know, send that guy out on top. And not only that, like, be at the pinnacle of football. You know, there's nothing greater than the Super Bowl. You know, and to be that eight-year-old kid running around, you know, saying, I'm going to win the Super Bowl. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Got a little drink. Huh? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming and meeting me. This Cheers. is fun. <laughs> Low champagne. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. I like that. But the, but the you know, be it and win the pinnacle and then all that, seeing all the confetti falling on the field, you know, it was just awesome. You know? I guess. Now I'm sitting back and I'm just like, I got to win another one, you know, <laughs> because once you get that, 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 the trophy, it's just like, Every year, that's what you expect, you know. So I, I gotta win another. One. Every year, I'm like, they're going to the Super Bowl. It's fine. We'll we'll be there. Oh, Denver yeah. Broncos. Are you a Broncos fan? I'm from you? I'm from Denver. Are you kidding? That's, are you? that's my home. Okay. Die oh, yeah. hard. Oh yeah. So we hey, we besties, right? We're now. best yeah, friends. We're good. I actually learned math through John John Elway's dad. So my sixth grade teacher, Mr. Casados, was obsessed with the Denver Broncos. Well, you showed up in your orange. So I like it. The press. I just figured, you know, yeah. if I'm. Meeting it's you. It's only I, right, right? It's only right. Yeah, I got to represent orange, a little bit. Yeah, I like it. Um, they told me that you like to ride horses. Yeah, I grew up uh, in a small country town. It's like really 3,000 people, one red light, uh, no McDonald's. You know, as a kid, I say that now, I'm like, I don't care about McDonald's. But as a kid, I'm like, how did I not have a McDonald's growing up? That's crazy. You know, but like, you know, it was like country town. You look out the window, you see horses, you see cows. And, I had two uncles. One was a professional bull rider and one was a calf roper. So I kind of grew up in the rodeo lifestyle. Of <laughs> Saturdays cool. at 5 o'clock in the morning, they're coming to pick me up. And we're in the pickup dually truck and I'm in the middle. And my <laughs> uncle's getting ready to bull ride and my other's getting ready to calf rope. And we're driving four hours and, you know, riding with cowboys. Just, that yeah. is they're so the, cool. Yeah, yeah, that they're is some so of the much toughest fun. guys ever. So uh, You won the Super Bowl. You've been to the Super Bowl. Bucket list check. What is next for you in life? Oh. What else would you love to do, you accomplish? Know, you know, I'm um, getting ready to sell my house in Houston, move to LA. Um, I think I want to do more television. Yeah, um, you should do that. You know, I've, been, I, I've had to hang out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I had a TV show out in Denver. 
um, which I've been doing the past four years. So hopefully I can make that transition. You know, yes. right now the NFL is saying I'm 30, so I'm getting old, but I'm like, Sweet. Get out of I here. mean, Tom Brady's 40. You're fine. You're, exactly. You're good. It's crazy. Something about the NFL that says, like, when a guy hits a certain age, you got to go. And it's like, no, I still got juice, man. Yeah, you have like, juice. I, there's still juice in this battery pack. Like, You're don't, great. Are you yeah, kidding? Don't try to You're kick good. me out. So. No. Hopefully I, I won't let that happen. Yeah, I'll, please I'll don't. make some phone calls Come on, really man, quick. Let's throw the hashtag. Like. NFL. <laughs> no. Roger, no. Excuse me. Sir. Yeah. Thank you so much for meeting me here. I really appreciate it. Appreciate I had such a good time talking to you. It. the food, the people, the music, the parties. This was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Who knew the Super Bowl was so crazy? I sure didn't. And the best is yet to come because tomorrow right here is Super Bowl 52. You guys better watch. You know I'll be here. I'm going to bed so I can watch